Good news everyone, it turns out that playing video games can make you of interest to porn stars, or at least porn sites. The fighting game community is never shy of provoking discussion, and this week's announcement is the news that the porn site Brazzers is interested in sponsoring players professionally, and also events in the future. There's no deal in place just yet, but it's likely that Long Island Joe will become the first player to be signed. A representative for the biggest tournament in America, EVO, has already said that there will be no mention of this particular sponsorship at the event in the summer. It's likely that other tournament organisers, such as MLG for example, will follow suit to keep that professional image intact. Now you have to wonder what the trade-off of such a sponsorship deal is. Will we see Joe's Long Island in action? Who knows, that could be the perk of winning a tournament in the future. From my own point of view, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. It gets the fighting game community a little bit of extra attention and a bit of extra support, and it also means that Long Island Joe gets an extra bit of backing. He seems like a decent guy, he seems to work hard, and if you want to check him out in action, beasting online, I'll put a sample video right here. You'll see his cross-counter adventures with Mike Ross. This announcement has been getting a bit of debate going, and I'd like you to post your own thoughts in the comments section below. The differing reactions could be a split in the community and provide a challenge going forward. On the one hand, you have the push towards mainstream, which will allow players to make a little bit of money and earn for what they do, but it also requires a bit more professionalism, it requires people to watch what they say, and we've already seen it in action. The policy on drug use has come under scrutiny, certain players have been banned from the microphone on certain events because of what they may say during commentary, and of course only a month ago we had the blow up on sexual harassment on the Cross Assault program. Then on the other side of the coin, you have people who want to move away from the whole esports element that's creeping into the game. They like the arcade scene, they like people who were able to say whatever they wanted on the mic, and of course we have commentators who made a career or made a living or made a name for themselves based on this. Now this isn't the first controversial partner either, and not necessarily for gaming. In the past, Formula One was linked with tobacco, and it was only certain races that clamped down on the advertising, and then we also have alcohol companies sponsoring music events. And, bear in mind, this isn't the first time that gaming, competitive gaming, has dabbled with the porn industry. For example, in 2007, at the first Championship Gaming Series draft, it was held in the Playboy Mansion, and there were rumours at the time that one particular athlete was asked to star in a few photos for Playboy. Then, Russian Counter-Strike players were put to the test as strippers danced and teased them while they were playing a match in progress. Of course, at the moment, you have the big promotional push of Maxim's Gamer Girl, which is looking for a representative. Now, Maxim itself is essentially softcore pornography, so why is this being pushed in a positive and promotional light, while an association or link to a pornography site is being tainted in a negative light and is controversial? And that's before we even get into the whole aspect of the portrayal of women in video games. So guys, what do you think of this news announcement regarding browsers and their potential sponsorship of the likes of Long Island Joe and other players? Are controversial partners welcome in fighting games and the gaming community in general? Because after all, the slice of the sponsorship pie is only so big if you look at gaming brands. If you open that up to a larger market, you stand a greater chance of being able to make a living and being able to support yourself and others around you. So that's it guys, if you'll excuse me, I have to do a little more uh, research into this whole site.